Welcome back to Smart Depot. Today I'm going to show you how to go back to stock room from any custom room on Rainy X2. First, the prerequisite. So you need to get the images for your recovery, TROP and then VB meta image. These two are going to be handy in case if you run into any problem. So again, you're going to need ADB. I'm not going to say that over. You already know that. Now I'm using ADB in 15 seconds. Uh, this is very, very, I'm going to put the link in the description. This is very easy. I usually install it system wide. So anywhere I am, I open command prompt. I do my ADB fast boot command straight away and it also gives you about ability to install the drivers so you can install all the drivers while you are installing it so you don't need to do that so keep that in mind you have the ADB and the drivers installed and then let's go in and let's go how show you how it does so the next thing you're going to check you need to check your device manager to see to see if the drivers are well installed but the most important thing here is you're going to go into your phone internal storage and you're going to copy everything you're going to go into your phone internal storage copy everything i have a memory card here but it's just 32 gig so it might not be enough to you know copy just copy almost everything that is important to you from the, the odb obb files from download camera everything just copy it out of the phone because there might be up there's an option for you to format data which which wipes everything in the internal storage of your phone then you go and activate USB debugging. I'm going to show you on the screen on the right here. If you like this video, this is your first time of watching video in our channel, please click on that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon. Thank you. Always remember to click on that uh, highlight the button that allow uh, from this computer. Always allow from this computer is very, very important. So once you do that, this is just the prerequisite. This is the elementary part. If you already flashed this before, you probably know this thing. Then check your drivers when you are in... Um, ADB mode to see that the drivers are working and once you see the drivers are okay you are going to, you are good to go okay so the next thing is that I'm going to replicate some problems so I want you to learn some problem that people face as somebody who told me I'm going to go into the recovery using ADB reboot recovery code from the ADB from PC uh, you can also do that manually on your phone by turning off the phone then when you turn off the phone you hold the power and the volume down button to reboot into recovery so uh, let's go on okay so um i'm going to replicate uh the possible uh, mistakes that some people who spoke to me about this and uh, they want to know how to go back to school, stock room the possible mistake they did and mind you there is encryption so this is very very important so encryption means that sometimes you have to format data to prepare the phone for encryption wiping data might not be able to prepare it enough wiping data alone might not be able to prepare it but sometimes it saves you the stress of losing everything in the phone okay so um if you're already in a crypt encrypted drum encryption is working in the drum you are you might just you know go in and wipe so but look at what the mistake some people do they select davi cache system and uh, uh, data and they wipe it anytime you wipe system you're going to run into a problem flashing stock run back so this is very very important you know that so if you don't want to watch this part you can go further but this part is the wrong thing that you shouldn't do now if you wipe this and then go and install the ozip <laughs> go and install the ozip uh, from uh, realme then that's uh, gonna be a big problem because you might even get warning errors like no s install if you boot it the thing will enter into a boot loop so the thing you did wrong was that you formatted system you formatted um um <laughs> you formatted the system you wiped the system so as you can see no os so somebody even went back to install custom rom again at this point if you install custom rom again it will still not boot because the system also the boot partition has been corrupted the boot partition is not working again that's why you need to flash a, a vbm image again so because the vbm image is the thing that checks that everything is okay before the system can boot so this is critical so i flash back custom rom here trying to replicate the error it will still not boot it to end up in boot loop so taking this out of the way we're going to go back and do the right thing so the right thing is you format your data from the custom recovery you are in and or you wipe your data that's just the thing you need to do and once you've wiped your data you go back to fast boot mode and then you flash vb uh, meta image 
and then you flash your trp recovery so these are the two things you have to do so you see now the files are handy so the way i do it uh, with this uh, i just drag and drop once i get to the code part where you just have to put the image dot image just drag drag the image and then keep it a straight line with the code where you just need to put the image and that's all so this is the way your phone have to look if you're in fast boot and then you flash this thing so make sure to have the o the o zip i have the o zip the dot <laughs> 18 or dot 19 just have it in your system so you can copy then in case you run into a problem with the one if you're in your internal memory or just keep it in your you know sd card that, that's very important so use the volume down button or up button to select the recovery mode press the power button to go back into the recovery so now you're back into the recovery after flashing the vb data and the team win recovery so once you're there now you have to just flash um you have to flash the you have to flash your o zip you just flash it right now so if you flash it right now it will boot so but there are two things i want to clarify for you the two things there is that if you did not wipe data and, and flash the vbm meta and uh, recovery uh, you still be able to boot but when you boot it will just lock you out to the last password that was in the other rom so and sometimes since you're coming from different os it's probably going to make a lot of apps crash so this is the thing it will give you so but if you go back and wipe data or format data whichever one that you want it will take you to the setup screen where you start again and set up everything so that's that so it's as simple as you go in you wipe your data where from the custom room you are in go to fast boot flash uh vbm meta image vb meta image and after that flash custom recovery and flash your o zip and that will be it so i'll see you in the next video comments in the description make sure you subscribe, subscribe. I'll see you.